welcome to Hog and Zog, where one makes and the other rates. We put in some nice uh, splat footage in the beginning so that we had enough time to kind of uh, talk about it. Uh, talk, talk about it.私は箱根を世界に掲示しますか。私は自分の行動を公開するかもしれませんが、学んだ教訓を公開することは決してありません。But doing wing, building wing. Oh, perfect. I had this great idea, and I'll tell you now instead of surprising it with you, where I was going to sit in my chair and then turn around and say our intro, but in the video, and you would just have to respond. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I wasn't going to tell you, but good lord, you're a speedy boy today, a aren't you? Speedy boy. And as you can tell on the left, we were talking about this before we started recording but i had the absolute worst time setting up my tripod to get any kind of footage for this so a lot of the footage is going to be really uh, i'm not going to say wonky but there are some interesting positions that it's in so also i like your big titty oh she's gone your big titty <laughs> cow on the bottom left uh, it's actually um i think her name is genevieve from uh dark souls Oh, uh, the first Dark Souls game, the amazing, amazing chest ahead. I haven't played any. I haven't played any of the Dark Souls. Oh, well, surprisingly, maidenless heathen. Yep. Uh, also, you say these shots. This is an awkward shot you have there. Are you gonna fix this in post product? You're just gonna leave. Nope. It I'm like gonna that. Leave it like that. <laughs> <laughs> You can okay. see the legs. You can see the legs of the tripod right down the bottom too. I was just oh oh, oh I yeah didn't rotate this one. Dang it. Yeah. Yeah, man. This whole thing was just one one real big uh, hard project. Also, I left in the snap on this one. I can't hear the snap, but oh oh uh, yeah, it's it's aesthetically pleasing for all you ASMR fans. Oh okay. Also, check out this leg joint. It's really cool. This master grade, for as like ooh, for as many ooh. issues as I had with it, the transforming feature doesn't interfere with the, uh, I guess posability, movement. Yeah, the movement of the inner frame. It's pretty good. That's that's pretty good. I have to. I still have to get started on painting the inner sides of the goof, but I've been yeah. messing around with him. Yeah. Uh, that's actually just a good. I don't think I have a wing. I should find the wing. And uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, this master grade is pretty good. I, I put it behind the moon to kind of recreate the Operation Meteor kind of look of it. Uh, did some cool panning in. Uh, the color separation on this one's a little funky. So in the middle of the eyepiece, there should be a white piece. And that's why there's not even a sticker on there. I was going to paint it anyways, but the, there's no sticker or anything on there because they give you a little white sticker to put in between both eyes. Mm -hmm. It's just really, it's kind of weird. It, it doesn't really lay flat very well. So I just had to, I definitely was like, I, I definitely need to paint this. Yeah, that is. And then now I'm also getting supplies because this was a lot, a lot of uh, free area. So I decided to take my hand at uh, scribing. So I needed a lot of supplies. Oh and yeah, I'm right here. I Some forgot tape. that you scribed there. And Tweezers. I have to. I would scribe my goof, except he's going to be a surprise. So. Oh. Well, for any listeners, you know what I'm doing, but our listeners can't know what I'm doing just yet. Uh, so know that. 
And I also need the model kit, too. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you had issues. Good. It felt insulted just by that. It said, you know what? I'm going to ruin everything else. Yeah, you know, that's... You know, that tracks. That pretty much tracks. But yeah, there's a lot of, like, free space. And I really wanted to kind of make it look really cool. Yeah. So I added some flop plate on there to add that kind of... Hexatrapezoidal? I'm not sure what you would call that. And this is an old school scriber that I got from MRS. Stab it. Stab it. Stab it. <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure what the size of it is. This one's kind of interesting because it like, it gets kind of tapered where it gets thicker the <laughs> further you go into it. So I think it's intended to kind of go the more you use it, the larger the scribe that you're doing gets. And I kind of... There's going to be a lot of this. This is a lot of what it was, because this part took longer than anything else was a scribing bit, because I didn't really have any direction. This was before I decided on what I wanted to do, so I was kind of freehanding a lot of stuff mm -hmm. and just trying to figure out what looked best. So I tried with a mechanical pencil, and that didn't work very well, because... Uh, Fun fact, people hands are gross, and they have a lot of oils on them. So as you have something that's plastic and smooth, and then you take your grubby, gross people hands and put it over it, it erases it. <laughs> that's fair. So, <laughs> all my effort, gone. Just a lot of scribing. I, I wonder if that's why I see all the time people are like, and put your gloves on while you're building your kit. And I look at them and I'm like, <laughs> I'm never gonna wear gloves while I. And then it's just like, yeah, I should probably wear gloves if I want to do anything extreme detailed because it will keep the oil off and keep me from having to either Mister Clear it every other second or yeah, I could just a hundred percent. Yeah, I also should have been wearing gloves during this whole scribing process. I was watching a lot of people to try to kind of learn how to do it mm -hmm. because again, yeah, this is like the first time I've ever tried to do this kind of thing, but. Um, a lot of people wear gloves so that they don't stab themselves, which I didn't at any point, but I had never considered it as I was doing it. No, you kind of one of those like this is a very sharp object and uh, very close <laughs> to my hands and pushing against plastic. Uh, you got to you got to be a child touching the stove, you know, every so often in life. You got to <laughs> you learn quicker that way. <laughs> You know, sometimes you just gotta learn by sticking that fork right in the outlet, you know. Um, and you also don't... It'll be the final lesson you ever learn. <laughs> you don't have tape yet on this, do you? No, so, yeah, that was the other thing, too, is that, so, I kind of tried to get a hang of it by going over what were some of the already pre-molded panel lines, mm -hmm. just to kind of make those a little... Thicken them up. Yeah, make them a little bit deeper, thicken them up, give them more detail. And it was after when I started doing some of the more freehanding kind of stuff that I started using some of the tape. Okay. This one was also another thing where I was trying to kind of make one of those intersecting pieces deeper. So it kind of looked like it was separate pieces, even though it was all on one piece. Yeah. And I only did it on one because, oh my goodness, it was a pain in the ass. <laughs> I bet they. I I look at when I little little good lord when I see people that do that and they cut out a section, you know, a square, and then they go in, nice drop, yeah. and they have their scribing tool and they carve it out like they're carving wood, and I'm just like, it blows my mind that they're able to do that with such precision. And I'm just like, what? How? Now, this is me uh, having some introspection and trying to pre-plan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> perfect! <laughs> nice job! I actually... So I found... Do you know the Converge figures? The uh, little tiny $7 um, Gundam figures? I'm unaware of them, but I can look them up while you tell me. Alright, so... I know exactly little... what you're talking about. Yes, carry on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so those little Converge figures are like $7 figures that have a ton of detail on them. Lots mm -hmm. of panelizing and stuff. 
And I kept trying to emulate that style without copying it. So I, I kind of looked at it, looked at what I was pre-planning, kept thinking about it, and decided that it was stupid. <laughs> so I just pulled up the picture of the actual thing. <laughs> And then I just started basically planning based off of that. Instead of trying so hard to be creative and make my own ideas, I just decided to copy it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like so, you, you have to you have to start there though. I mean what's the the Yeah. What's that phrase where it's just like you you co you copy the teacher until the tracing phase? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty much Yeah, I was being way too ambitious. I, I was trying to do trying to act like a pro when I've never done it before so it's it really I don't know why I didn't start here I just really wanted to kind of go big or go home but yeah it looked that very nice oh yeah I think that small amount of detail works really, I might, really well I and might. now this is me using the tape <laughs> <laughs> I might have to get it converged so that my little uh, desktop army girls have you know, some buddies. some buddies, some males hanging around to <laughs> that they can defend because they're very strong, independent, very pointy. Picking them up is sometimes a hassle because they are very pointy. Ooh, also, she, this, she do you off. like this? This I, is a. Uh, I. What's happening here? What is uh, this? this? Is me scraping over, scraping over, and over, and over, and scraping and over, and scraping over, and scraping over, and scraping and over, over again, and over again. Oh, I'm gonna try to layer my audio so that it's just you're scraping over <laughs> and over. And <laughs> I will now laugh if you don't manage to do that, and it's just you saying it normally. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are the cutest one. Go back together. I should repaint one of these girls. Actually, I should make that one of these videos. Anyways, yeah. um, you you go here, fucking. Oh my god, I'm gonna come back to you in just a second. So that I can pay attention to what my good friend is doing. <laughs> but yeah, this is a uh, again. This is like a bulk of the whole freaking video was just scraping over and over and over and over again, just trying to get an idea of what works best. Also, the little uh, so this scriber, mm -hmm. get who makes it, um, it's like point. 0.7 millimeters was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a lot smaller, and it turns out to be huge. <laughs> but it worked really well. It worked a lot better than I was expecting it to, honestly. I I didn't think that it would... I thought it would take a lot more effort to kind of get it to start going in there, but <laughs> no, it's actually... Once I had at least a, a formation started on it, it actually cut through the plastic really well. It was pretty easy to get in. Yeah, it cuts through the plastic really nicely. Um, it's really good for uh, those little random rectangles that they have. You know, like on, on some panels that they have what seems to be a, a useless rectangle in the middle of the, of the things. Like if you look at the shield, there's one drawn on the side right there. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's just like a useless square. And... Um, I'm sure, mechanically speaking, it could be said that it's oh, this is a this is a do -do -do. it do -do 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 -do. that kind of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it, that that scriber works really well for doing a lot of detail work like that. But in terms of actually doing scribing lines, not that great. Gotcha. The 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 yellow one. Definitely, definitely need to get a smaller one. Or the seven, the seven. Oh, the the, the seven millimeter one. Okay. The seven millimeter one, yeah. The yellow one, I, the yellow one works. This is me backpedaling as well. I had to get some epoxy to fill in some of those holes because those those scribed lines looked horrendous, and I definitely messed up the shield as well. Oh. So I had to get some epoxy, two part epoxy, and fill in those holes. And also the top of the chest messed that up real good. Nice. Starting over again. <laughs> this is why this took so long. This is yes. Because I had to backpedal a lot. I, I, man, when did I even start this? I started this like you? two months ago. Yeah, two months ago almost. I think. Well, no, because it was right after. 
Yeah, nah, it dude. must have been. Yeah, it must have it been was... like the beginning of December because it was right after the York video, which you did. Yep. Yep. Okay, so it's been a minute. Yeah, dude, and that was all this just like the scribing part because it, it took like maybe an afternoon to build. It's not a very complicated build. Also, yeah. this part separator thing, oh, it's amazing. I love it. It's so good. I and never at any moment was afraid that any piece was going to snap in half like I would have if I was just using like an exacto knife or something. Yeah. I recommend getting one of these. I it's have so I have not that one, but I went to MRS and got a it looks like a almost like a one-sided knife and it's been doing me really good. Yeah. I have to kind of I have to kind of slide it around, but I do like it much better than everything else I've had cuz it's like, yeah, once I get it in, I'm just like pop all right, let me get to the end. Let me slide it around. Pop. Kind of like what you're doing Pop. here, where it's just like, exactly. yeah, slide it around and. Take it out. Yeah. So that little piece I'm touching right there, that's mm -hmm. the piece that exploded. Oh, good. Uh, Spoiler, Spoiler warning. <laughs> uh, Wing took a nosedive shortly after this video, and that top part of that, the veneer pack, the backpack, whatever you want to call it, uh, both clips that retain it in exploded so that blue plastic piece is the only thing that's holding it in place now I'm surprised you didn't just make your own just make your own like little epoxy piece I'm probably gonna have to honestly it's probably gonna be just a lot of that polystyrene sheet mm -hmm. and just making it into rings and then putting that that uh because it's just like a long bit that kind of goes through it yeah and just do it that way he, he also just... I go ahead I realized this was uh, not centered, <laughs> so I shaved off a bunch of pieces of it to try to make it at least even. <laughs> and then this is a good example of what I was talking about with those rectangles. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really good to just make smaller details like that. I feel like that's what that scriber was kind of... That's where it excels at. Hmm. Yeah, I have, two, I have two scribers, so my next... I have... Um, well, I've been in a painting mood, so I want to finish up what I'm doing and then paint the goof and then paint a bunch of Warhammer figures uh, and D&D &D figures. So that should also hopefully draw some more people here. Ooh. Um, so if in the future we ever become popular due to random ass Warhammer figures that luckily I painted and make the community mad at me for, uh, welcome. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh... Uh, yeah, I want. I do want to scribe, and so I've been trying to watch IBO with uh, with Jag Jad. I'm just gonna call her Jay. Whatever. It's not. All right. <laughs> it's so much easier that way. Um, <laughs> then I have a few IBO figures, and I'm probably gonna scribe those up too. Oof! What happened Secret there? Face. Secret face. Secret face. <laughs> Secret. <laughs> it looks like it was broken. <laughs> No, it's the secret face behind the actual face. Oh, I see. Also, don't be surprised. This is actually not that surface primer. I took the... Uh, you've probably seen it before. There, it's the Tamiya Gray uh, primer paint that they sell at, at Hobby Lobby or any hobby store, really. Oh, okay. I just pre-thinned it, and I put it into that empty bottle so that I could uh, pour it in a lot easier. The Vallejo paints have a really nice kind of pour spout. Mm -hmm. And so I just emptied it out and used it so I could pour it because it's outside and it's hella cold. Yeah. It was like maybe, ah, oh man, like 25, 30 degrees outside. I'm surprised you were able to get away with that then. Well, so here's another learning experience thing. Uh, Japanese paints are amazing. <laughs> and uh, as long as you thin it enough, you shouldn't experience too many issues because the more you thin it the faster it dries yeah so the ratio that i was kind of doing was effectively two to one so at that ratio and the speed that it would dry i didn't run into any they call it orange peeling mm -hmm. where the paint just kind of like doesn't settle in correctly I didn't run into any orange peeling issues. I was actually super surprised. Also, leveling thinner was the, the thinner that I used. And that stuff, dude, man, best stuff on the planet. Yeah, I don't I swear. I, <laughs> I, we've expressed, I've expressed this twice on this channel now, I think. I cannot, to save my goddamn life, airbrush, uh, 
to not to well I have I have Mr. Hobby thinner, not to Mia thinner. Um so maybe I should get to Mia thinner. Uh, well no, I the the leveling thinner is Mr. Hobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you said this is to Mia uh, the primer. primer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So maybe I should get to me a primer and then because I'm using Mr. Hobby primer and I cannot I don't know. I've I've not thinned it. I've thinned it. I feel like I'm over thinning it. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I usually just take, oh, check this out. So this is a fluorescent green mm -hmm. and I'm just spraying it on the inside of the clear parts to kind of give it that glowing green effect, but it looks like uh, predator blood. It's awesome. Oh, that's pretty neat. We're going to do a harsh zoom here on this other one so that we can really watch it turn radioactive. Check it out. Just going to kind of look in real close. Ooh. You did have real fun green. with this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I learned how to zoom. <laughs> I learned how to pan. It's awesome. Um, learning experience. This is just the learning episode. TLE, the learning episode. <laughs> So I'm gonna name this this one. <laughs> we'll have plenty more of those. Look at them. They're Dude, all those are really nice. That's that is good looking considering, yeah, wait, 25, 30 degrees outside. Yeah. Yeah. And then the colors, you're you're gonna see something really kind of weird that happened with one of these paints. So yeah, okay, again, out of frame. Sorry. Could not figure out how to get my stupid tripod to work. So this is all the colors that I used. The white. Mm-hmm. Not really nice, but it was also almost the exact same color as the primer, so it was incredibly difficult to paint. <laughs> <laughs> Have I painted this? I don't know. Yeah, ex precisely. <laughs> the blue, check this out, dude. So the blue kind of has like a baked in highlight on it, so that all the corners are all white. Oh, and it, it dried smooth, but it just for some reason, all the, the edges were all highlighted white or like a grayish color. That is really nice. Flat yellow. And the side. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. Ring, ring, ring. There we go. <laughs> I was a little bit off. <laughs> but, and of course, my favorite color, Super Italian Red. The best red. I'll be so sad no. when you lose and you run out of run out of it. Oh, I won't ever run out of it, dude. I am sitting on like three, three things of it. Oh. <laughs> and then for Lash and Green. It's a good looking green too. Check that out. That's really Dude. nice. I'm gonna do a zoom in. Three. Right there. Two. Nope. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's already uh, there. One. <laughs> nice. And then I also did a light blue, which I mixed with the white and the blue to kind of get that. I was gonna do more of that light blue, but I decided against it. You can kind of see a little bit better how it's kind of highlighted. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to capture it on. Oh, actually, that uh, piece on the right hand side. You kind of see how it looks. Uh, get out of the way, hand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can see. I can see like the whites, and I can, I can. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea why I did that. Huh. To be completely honest with you, um, I assume it's because of how cold it was. Um, but I. I Happy accident. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you didn't. Is Mr. Bob Bob Ross. And you didn't appreciate like you did in the last time. Last uh, nope. mech you did. So this nope. is just normal. Yep. Okay. I just wanted solid colors on this one. Mainly because. I don't know. For me, Wing kind of has. I guess because it's, it's more of like a cartoony color to it. Mm -hmm. I feel like uh, appreciating it would kind of diminish the colors a little bit and if i ever wanted to do something like battle damage and stuff it would all be topical damage and if anything it would be brighter colors like a lighter white to kind of show that the the white that's on there and me dropping the piece that i'm actively painting yeah. is always fun <laughs> <laughs> uh but to do like an active lighter color to make it look like the paint is chipping and stuff like that yeah but i feel that appreciating kind of takes away from uh, the style of wing and that's just my preference so that's fair that's fair i feel like if i i might pre-shade um i don't want to give i don't want to like tell everyone what i'm working on i feel weird if i'd say that but it doesn't really matter in the long run um, well, don't don't 
Oh. Just make it, just, yeah, okay. yeah just kind of well, like go. I, I, you. you! You know what I'm currently working on. Um, yeah. And that's not the goof, because uh, I've already mentioned the goof. Um, I want to appreciate him, and who did who did you send me again? Um, I'm blanking on the video guy you sent me, but and I told you like he was super heavy handed. He looks super heavy handed, and he does make it look good. Yeah. Uh, Otaku builder. There we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Fucking his stuff's great, but I'm like, I and even the way that you appreciate, I don't. There's something about it that I don't like. <laughs> Yeah, and, no, I, I mean, I get it. There's appreciating is is definitely like a it's it's a preference thing. Yeah, like you don't necessarily have to do it. It's just a preference. Yeah. So I'm I I might because I I have ideas on how I would like it. Um, and it might even just be that I do like uh, what they do with the miniatures, where it's just highlighting, where it's like, yeah, if I'm gonna do this thing, I'm gonna from the underneath paint it like gray. And then I'll hit it with the white on top and just zenithal shade. Yeah, because yeah. zenithal shade looks good. That that helmet looks good. What you put on the like the above its eyes there? Is that just naturally part of the lights in there? That was really good. Uh, so the the part of it that I was talking about earlier <laughs> that's in between its eyes, you will see it really good right here. So I sprayed the middle part with the same white as I did the rest of the head, <laughs> so that. Um, it doesn't really look like a disjointed or disconnected part, but that's just how a uh, wing's natural head looks like. Okay. And then I put the, the fluorescent green behind it so that I like to put whatever the color is that the eyes are going to be behind the eyepiece mm -hmm. so that it still looks like a camera. Cause what the eyes of the Gundam are, are effectively cameras. Yeah. So I just like to do it. The only thing, the only problem that I've ever found with it really is that, it's harder to refract light against it versus like just painting over the eye bits itself. Mm -hmm. But that's just kind of what I think looks really neat. Have you um, put LEDs behind them or no? Yes, I have in earlier builds. And actually, that's what I was going to start um, when I was going to start doing more of the LED builds. Mm -hmm. I was going to kind of show how I did that. Okay, okay. Because there is there is a method to it. Um, and I've done it a couple different ways. The best way that I've found is basically not being cheap and putting an LED behind each eye. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Because if you put it in the middle, what happens is that, um, you know, kind of like those magic photos that have the eyes that kind of follow you? Yeah. It's the same thing that happens. Oh, basically, the okay. eye, it never focuses, so you have to put one on each. But then also at the same time, that may be a little intense. I can kind of show you with um, with one of the other builds I did. But there you go. Yeah. It's, it's built. Yeah. No, those. Okay, it's, so it's the machine. Good. It's the machine guns in its head. Those look really clean. I don't know what you got. Oh, it was its own separate piece. Yeah. So. No, that there's, that head looks really good. Like like yeah. the head itself as a build is fucking ten out of ten for me. We now we need to get to the now, profiles. Had, now we got to get to the rest of it. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. the shield I, the looks only... good, despite the fact that you had to go back and fix it. You said, "Yeah, yeah." I, I try to make it as unnoticeable as possible. But the only thing I didn't really paint were the wings. So yeah. But I, I kind of stopped on it because yeah, it just gave a lot of issues. Okay. Also, title card out. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I'll give it. I, I'm gonna the heads. The heads clean. Ten out of ten. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten because uh, I didn't Ooh. see any solid panel lining, and I feel like that would have made other extra pieces pop. It, it, yeah, I saw. I saw it was there, but it wasn't clean. Yeah, <laughs> I, I honestly near the end, I just kind of gave up on it, mostly because yeah, this was something that I hadn't done before, and you know, I just. Yeah, I gave up near the end. Honestly, is what it is. This was a learning experience, learning and experience. I mean, I, I I did as much as I could learning with it, and I I did learn a lot of stuff about panel lining for sure. But this was kind of one of those projects that, you know, it, it, in the middle it started to kind of degrade down, and I had just been working on it for so long that I kind of lost my motivation for it. Kind of a weirder YouTube video where instead of somebody showing. Look at this thing that I made immaculately. It's like, no, I, I, I fucked up. Yeah. 
This was this was not my best work, and I recognize that. But I'm going to show it anyways. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. All right.